We've had composer residencies with the Sydney Children's Choir for many years now and what we like to do is collaborate with a major cultural institution and have a whole lot of pieces written for the Sydney Children's Choir members to be able to sing. Being the composer in resident for the Sydney Children's Choir has been a life-changing experience and it's just been the biggest honour to work with Lynn Williams and the whole team to develop my own compositional voice. Good, okay, now let's go from... Sam's been terrific actually because he's tried to understand with great depth the way that the children sing, the sorts of sounds they can make, what is going to work and also what is going to spark their interest. This piece is called Dinah Mummy and it's a poem written by my great-grandmother to my grandmother in pre-war Germany, 1936. It's a story about her love for her daughter, about the state of the world, capturing that tense atmosphere but also a dream for her child that she just should have a better life. Very often when you listen to a piece of music, the intent is conveyed even if you don't understand every word of the language. And I think that the choir and Sam together have managed to capture this sincerity behind this piece and the very strong sentiment behind it. When I sing Dinah Mummy, I feel like I'm singing with a family. I feel like this mother of this child, she just wants her daughter to have the best possible chance of living her own life. When the audience hears us sing this song, we want them to feel inspired and have hope for the future because our world can be a better place and that can be made through the power of music and through sharing the joy of singing to everyone around the world. To me, it is so important that we share our history and it's been such an amazing opportunity to work with the Sydney Children's Choir and to be able to shoot the performance video inside the Sydney Jewish Museum. It's such a special building to tell the story of my family and to tell the story of so many others that just want their children to dream. I think my great-grandmother and my grandmother, they would both be extremely moved that their story was being told and hopefully one day I'll be able to tell these stories to my children.